Now, let's focus on the details and the settings we have created at the beginning. Specifically the work path, which is the path to the target directory Edius works with and the project presets. The work path was created at a specific location when Edius started the first time. In case a wrong name or path for the initial directory was entered mistakenly, no problem, it is possible to reset or fix it later. In order to make the change, we must go directly to Edius's program settings. The work path belongs in the user settings under settings. A number of options and setting configurations are available, but it is unnecessary to deal with those at the moment. Our focus is on the application part under the project file section. The first box lists the path that we specified when we first started EDIUS. If you wish to change it, click on Browse and check a new path. Also, the standard name, which EDIUS automatically assigns to each new project, can be specified. If the work path and the project name are correct, leave the settings by clicking OK without making any changes. Another setting we'd like to go over with you is also located in the settings menu, but this time under the System Settings, Application, Project Preset section. In these settings we can see the presets we defined when starting EDIUS the first time. In case we want to change the existing preset, we select and click Modify. If we want to create a new preset, we have two options. The first is through New Preset, the second through the Preset Wizard. This is the same method we used when we defined the settings when the program first started. And we just got through the basic user settings.